Gamers, gamers, one and all, we are, oh my god, we're all here. I'm I'm one of the Shans, I'm one of them. I'm the Lee. And I'm the other promised Sean. Holy, oh, oh, oh my golly, god dang, we're doing an episode oh. of Mostly Walking, the finest show on the internet. And let me tell you, getting schedules for gamers to align in the months of oh May and god. June, it's impossible. Yeah. It's impossible. Yeah. Like, you know, yeah. we, we got a professor here at the school year's ending. In school years, oh. there's actually, um, I feel like the end of a school year gets just slowly shifted backwards. It feels like school year, like semesters are now ending like at the end of March. Yeah. And starting in June and all this sort of stuff. It just keeps peeling backwards. It's crazy. And then, you know, there's all the announcement weeks, the summer game fests, and the desiccated withered husk that's now E3 with its various tentacles interrupting schedules on the weeks of either sides like you know it's impossible it's impossible but my goodness we're all here together again and i couldn't be happier isn't uh, it wonderful Luigi? i want to start with ye Luigi. Yeah. Le Luigi. how have you been how is the various occurrences of what will soon be a monkey island game that the public can play i'm good it's good uh that's all I can say. Um, it's going. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The game is looking really good. Uh, good is wonderful. Buy it. Buy it. Um, Hell yeah. Hell I, yes. I can say vague things. I'll say vague. Here. Okay. Uh, vague upsell. Um, animations in this game. Fucking wonderful. Cool. As is the art style. So just, you know, plug in for that. Show up for that. Oh, with yeah. All your parts. Yeah. Um, I, I'm really good. I went, uh, you know, another part of the reason I think my brain is gone is because uh, I had a, long, a very long weekend. I um, On Friday night, I did the Trans March, and that was, like, bigger and more festive than I thought. So this is in San Francisco. Um, yeah. And then on s Saturday, or on Sunday, I did, like, pr I went to Pride. Like, the San Francisco Pride, which is, like, Oh yeah, huge. It's yes, huge. Speaking of tentacles that spread itself all the way on all sides, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's just like, yeah, oh, it's, it's like it like was it fun? I don't even know. It was just so much. Um, yeah, no, like it's it, yeah. When the air is, it's it, it is thick with pride. You know, when when, when you you turn a corner and, and you're you're hitting your forehead on pride. Oh my god, yeah. this, is, this is so much pride. It, that was amazing. And then um, had so much pride. And then, like, went back to... I live in the Mission, so then I went back to, like, Dolores Park, where there was also a lot of pride. And that was less official, but there was just a lot of pride. And then um, I had a lot of pride. And then all weekend, there was just a lot of pride. So, <laughs> think, you know, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, oh, and yeah. you know, I, Lee, I, I actually feel like this is, a, this is a good opportunity to talk a little bit about this. Um, oh, that's... I don't know <laughs> if... This is a feeling that that you you're having, but the way that you're describing this a little bit, yeah, there's a feeling that I I only have had as an adult, which is that I feel like my socialization and my doing stuff outside of the house on weekends feels like sometimes it gets away from me, and yes. come Sunday evening I'm like, I was outside of this apartment too many hours today. Oh my god, right? Like when I was a kid. Literally, I would leave school on Friday and be at a LAN party, staying up till 6 in the morning, sleeping, getting up, staying up till 9 in the morning, going home, telling my mom that we'd slept when we hadn't, and then oh doing some God, homework and trying to, and like, just, like trying to stay awake and just get some work done. And then like on Sunday night, I'd be like, man, I got to go to school. Dang it. And then I'd go to school on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Friday, boom, immediately going to a LAN again, right? Like there's this... There's, yeah, you're right. But now that I'm an adult, like, I went out on Saturday and for a little bit on Sunday. And on Sunday night, I just had this, that was, like, a little too much for me. I, like, I need to decompress from having tried yeah. to go out and have fun. Like, I don't know what that is. Yeah, it's definitely, like, um, the International Space Station. Uh, okay. Yeah. I can't wait to find out where this is going. I'm back. I'm, I'm oh, motherfucking really back, funny. baby. She's back. Here uh, she goes. <laughs> you want to do one little experiment, right? You want to do one little experiment. Yeah. And to do that, you're going to need to put it in a payload, and you're going to need to put it on a rocket ship, 
and you're going to need however many hundred thousand pounds of solid rocket booster fuel, and you're going to have to boost your ass out of your apartment. I, yeah. I like this. The kitty is really demonstrating the sort of posture. She's, she's right. looking right at that you, man. That's a cat. That's a <laughs> um, good cat. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, you want you want to smell my mouth? There you go. Yeah. That's a good baby. And uh, yeah, you got it. You got to break orbital velocity or whatever. You got to break the surface tension. You got to get all the way up to the ISS. You have to uh, put on. You have to. What you need to do is take off your like traveling uh, layer, just into your skivvies, and put on your like ISS like flight suit. And then you need yeah. to squeeze your butt through the little hole into the ISS. And then you can do the five minutes of experiment, which is like. In this case, that experiment is like the one to two good conversations you'll have in the course of a night. Yes. And then... <laughs> yes, and and all the various other accoutrements and like you know the the various gas sprays that you see happen in 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 fiction, where it's like, oh, you're going to go from outside the ship to inside the ship, spray him with some smoke, get a fog machine in there, so that way he can <laughs> decompression, repressurize, and get rid of yeah. space bacteria badness out there. You know, and then they get to you. Know, you have a helmet. They go, chung, chung, chung. and there's that little extra breathe in of air when clearly they had to have been breathing air while they were in there. Like all that it shit. That is, say. Yeah, that is exactly what it felt like to go to a bar for yeah. two hours and then go home. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there is a fine art to making an appearance. I, I, I definitely believe in. Like my goal is to uh, <laughs> be somewhere for at least as long as it took total to travel there and back. So, like, if I'm traveling an hour, I want to be somewhere for two hours so I can get there and back, and it's a four-hour experience. Oh, that's nice. But but it's also sometimes you do need to just spend an hour getting to the place, be there for 20 minutes. Somehow that, 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 that is enough. Somehow it's enough for you. And then you go back, and it's, like, it's still worth it. Other times it's not. Other times it's a complete fucking disaster, and you're like, I just spent four <laughs> hours of my life. The experiment failed. But basically, experiment failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, no, I, I had a real time, moment. Yeah, because yeah, I arrived, and I saw people, and they're like, hey, and I sat down, and I met some people, and oh. someone asked me something, and I answered a question, and all of a sudden, my heart rate accelerated, and I was like, I got to go to the bathroom. And then I went <laughs> yeah. in the bathroom, and I just... <sighs> yeah, no, that's... We're going to be all right. Yeah, no, man, like like socialization... That's, that's anxiety. That's too, the anxiety. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's um, just because it was loud and there was like music playing and people knew the lyrics and they were saying the lyrics around me, so they were loud. Oh, that's it was terrible. A lot. That was a lot. It was a lot. It's the overstimulation. No, that's that was a lot. Good. Yeah, it was overstimulation. It was good stuff. Are so, we are we all familiar at this point with the overstimulation? I think so. Have yeah. we all caught up on that? Where like at some point in your twenties you just get really irritated and like you yell at your significant other and then like in your thirties are like, Oh, it's called being overstimulated. <laughs> like what I needed was to put on sunglasses and put in earplugs and fucking sit in a cold room. Like that's what I yeah, needed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, Love it. Yeah. Well, Lee, glad to have you back <laughs> and glad you're doing well. And then Monkey Thanks. Island is gonna be coming up I'm and then everyone really should well. buy it. And the <laughs> art slaps and it rips. Uh, it is, and it's it's so fun to work on that I almost don't want to finish it. But hopefully, you know, we'll ultimately decide to publish the game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like I, I think this is not talked about enough, right? Where it's like, do do we actually want to finish this fucker? Because I think that we could just keep adding content. Like let's let's let the scope creep a little bit. Come on, like let's let it creep. Because like, I want to have more things to do. <laughs> Give me a task. Hit me with some Jira. Hit me with some Jira. Hit me with your Jira. Okay, wait, which... That's Despy. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Because Despy's being a little scope creep right now. Yeah, yeah. She's... I think. Let's... Here, let's see what, what her little eyes are doing. There we go. Yeah, oh look at that god. scope creep. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> oh my god. Now, now, Sean B., I know that the school year wrapped up sometime in the last six months. Or the school semester. It did. That's true. Uh, But there's a summer semester. And it starts tomorrow. Ah, yes. So, yeah. So, yeah, because I remember uh, last last week when we had uh, some Sean on Sean chat in action, you were talking about getting ready and spinning up for that. Excited? Yeah. Feeling good? Yeah. It's been it's been a weird couple of weeks. Um, I, you know, I'm 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 feeling super burned out and like <laughs> trying to get stuff done and not being productive. But I'm excited about this class, uh, and I'm excited for it to start. I think that that's going to help, like, 
kick me into gear a little bit. Also, I bought a bunch of power tools and a bunch of lumber. Yeah. I'm building a gaming table. Yes. Um, and it's starting to come together. Like, there's still a lot Ooh, to yeah. do. But, like, it's it looks like the CAD drawing now. So um, oh, that's shit. pretty exciting. Wow. That's amazing. So you're actually, like, you're not you're not just thinking about it. You're, like, building this table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. That's awesome. Yeah, like, I am building it to the point where, like, I think I've passed the halfway mark. Like, you know, oh. there was a period where I was, like, starting with the idea of building this table, and maybe I'm going to go out and I'm going to get, like, a hammer, and that's, yeah. like... You know, a progress towards a task, but it's not really a commitment. Mm -hmm. um, uh, but I'm at the point now where, like, um, yeah, it's not it's not done, but like it's sort of got momentum. Like at this Ooh. point, it's sort of like, well, I can't not finish it. Oh, that's exciting! Yeah, so that's good, dude. I this this conversation. Uh, I'm not I, gonna jinx. I'm not gonna jinx it. I'm so, sorry. I'm not going to jinx it. I'm not going to jinx it. Well, and it's the it's the 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 like two you know hand holding pressures or whatever uh, is I want to get this project done because I want to like build a thing, um, and then I want to run a D and D campaign and I want to like do that at the table that I built. I think oh. it's going to be so. I'm going to try to do both of those things and not like blow myself up. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This uh, I I love that this intro is for like an audience of 30 and 40 somethings who are trying to get through it. Yeah. Like this is yeah. like we we talked about <laughs> overstimulation. What can I say about my work? Well, at this point the table's just saying, I mean, you got to finish me at some point. So I'm gonna. Yeah. Like it's so good. It's so good. And woodworking. I'm, we really did get to the woodworking. Sorry, mm -hmm. I, I okay, Sean P. I am sorry. I continue to interrupt you, and yes, I know this is oh. now, so. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna print out a car, I'm gonna laminate a fucking card that says I have ADHD. I get to do what I want, but like, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's very diagnosed. But at the same time, I'm just jumping in to tell you, didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, you know what? You know, interrupt away. That's <laughs> it's great. Like it's awesome. Like you know what? No, I, I prefer Sorry, that. I mean, if it, if at any point you're like, oh, Sean, what were you saying about that? Ten out of ten, way better than if you simply didn't interrupt. Because let's be honest, most of what I do all day is talk to myself alone in this room. It's nice to have some interjections every now and again. You know what I mean? <laughs> the angel and the devil on your on your shoulders here. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, I can tell you what. Oh, let's play this game. Let's play this game. I've been eager to play what some Norco. <laughs> you know what? Let's remember. What game is this? Did you play it last time? No. We did not. No. No. Last time we played oh, is God. you were here. This so, game kind of makes me sad, which uh, I don't know. Do I look forward to that? I don't know anymore. Anyways, <laughs> continue. What were you oh, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Where were we? Well, one of the great aspects of this game is that it actually just has kind of like built-in re-reminders in the game. You just talk to the people that you're with. So, as a reminder... Even a mind map. We can look at your mind map. Well, we could look at the mind map if we were playing as the protagonist of the game. The protagonist oh, of the game is investigating the Moida of Damuda, who we Oi. are currently playing as. No, oh, yeah. We're playing as Catherine. Catherine doesn't get a mind map? No, she's saying it's going to be long enough. And see, I love this. This is this is so good. So, if you will recall, there was an enormous mall where there seems to be some people who are involved in some cult who will only let us in if we have found and scanned all the various teachings of the cult. Oh, right. And know how to break in. So, let's the actually AR scripture. Yeah, that's right. AR scripture, baby. <laughs> I love this. Still lost. Kids of the mall said friend can help us. Yeah, they said we can find friend in the mall parking lot. We need to look for him with the Apocryphon friend. app. Mall parking lot. And so, so we found we found one in like the um in a in a front lawn somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Did we, we find more than that? We're right here. 
And okay. here's downtown. Here's the Promenade Mall. Here's Eagle Wholesale. And what we're doing right now is we are at this particular location, St. Somewheres. Once Moss Neighborhood Bar has moved through a succession of subcultural clientele over the past decade. First came the squatters, who took up residence in nearby homes damaged by hurricanes or simple neglect. Squatters attracted the punks, the punks brought the hipsters, and so on. It now exists in a subcultural <laughs> estuary. Only <laughs> one change of ownership away from becoming an upscale wine bar. Oh, fuck me. That oh, yeah. hurts to hear. Yeah, isn't it? it's just, it's such a robust description of gentrification. It is. Alright, so I'm a little lost. Super Duck is what? Yeah, and and uh, to rewind even more. God, Super Duck. So, you know, Bigfoots is honestly, I've lost the plot of the game. So the basic idea of this game is that we have returned back to Norco, which is low income, constantly flooded, but it's in a semi-futuristic um, period of time in an alternate history. So there's a little bit of the idea of futuristic components like robots who are there, but again, super low income, basically living in... Uh, one step up from a trailer with, you know, the usual just various parts and scraps being reassembled to, to keep the car going and so on in our yard. And we are investigating what happened to our mother who died, who appears to have been murdered. And it's because she right. found something. And what is that something? Well, we're kind of stepping back into her memories and learning that there is some self-aware, sentient, organic internet monster called Super Duck. At some point, this whole advancement of AI created a self-aware being that is growing in power by having an app where it pays people cryptocurrency to do tasks for it. And so we met the Super Duck. Super Can I vote that we refer it? to Despy? Uh, for the remainder of this game, we refer to Despy only as Super Duck? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, Super Duck's currently on the heating pad because she's feeling a little bit cold and she likes to get her uh -huh. little tummy cooked. So what was that thing in the warehouse? A node in the network. There's a handful around the region. You use the app long enough, you get to know them. And the app is for doing whatever the virus wants you to do? I don't know, just how I keep the lights on. Love it. Mm. Where do we find the stone? The thing Super's looking for? Promenade Mall and Kenner. That's what the Super said anyhow. Alright, where's the second sculpture? And I'm just going to kind of go through these, because not only have we yeah. not wound up doing this, but we got to get back into this. First, reading yeah, mentioned St. Somers. Guessing it's got to be around here. If you can't find it, let's ask somebody. How do we get into the mall? Well, it's very clear. We get into the mall um, by finding these three AR scriptures. Be initiated to get in. How do we get initiated? There are three sculptures hidden around town. Virtual sculptures. You can only see them by opening up the Apocryphon app find all three of these things. Uh, Garrett mentioned someone named Friend. That's right. He said to open the Apocryphon app. Yeah. All right. Dismiss. All right. So let's do it. Yeah. Tanner John's Apocryphon. <laughs> John. So. Yeah. All right. Oh. Uh, it's inside. Yeah, it seems to make sense. Let's, uh... Door guy. The man working the door tunes out the cacophony while scrolling through cooking recipes on his phone. Uh, Lee, since you're fresh back to the show, I'd love for you to be door guy. Door guy. Whoa, look at that face. Yeah. No cover tonight. Just checking IDs. What's happening tonight? Look, that's too low of a voice. What's going on inside? It's it's bounce night. <laughs> Bounce night. Ba bounce night? Yeah. Crowd seems... Catherine glances around and then to Dallas. Different than I'd expect. Uh, uh, Sean, Sean, do you want to be, uh, Dallas? What, what are you looking at me for? Just, don't you agree? What? A bunch of white kids shaking their ass to bounce. So I'm supposed to give a shit? I didn't mean anything by it. All I listen to is Christmas music. Oh, what yeah. A psycho thing to say. Christmas music. <laughs> That's it. That's the only thing I listen to. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of genres that people don't listen to. Like, I don't really listen to a lot of country. I don't really listen to a lot of metal. But rarely do I, can I think of anyone who's like, I listen explicitly to jazz, and that's it and nothing else. 
I yeah. might be Dallas. Oh. I may be Dallas in this scenario. What do you only I don't, listen to? I Christmas music. Like, I don't listen to music, but at Christmas, it's sort of a seasonal thing. Really? Oh. So, like, I'll put on atmospheric Christmas music, but any other time, I would not have music. Um, really? Yeah. I, I'm wondering why you don't listen to music. Because I have... Because I've recently started listening to a lot more music. I can tell you exactly why. Yeah? Was that a question? No one knows. I, yeah. Here's the answer. Here's the answer. <laughs> I got myself what? a ninety-nine a ninety-nine dollar Bluetooth DAC okay. and a Bose companion to computer speakers. Oh, those and are those two okay. things together sound so good that I can't do Spotify anymore because I can hear the compression. I have to do tidal. Which is more expensive, but it's like when you listen to it, it's like it tickles your brain because you, you can hear all the everything. Do you do the the high quality switch on Spotify? Um, yeah, but it only goes up to um, I I don't know. I, I it only goes up to a up. five. I like, needed to go to an eleven. I, it was, it's something absurd. Like on title, it's like ten times the numbers. And then if you go to master quality on title, it just blows up your internet because it makes you download like a hundred billion gigs just to play like <laughs> one song. Um, but no, it's so it's it's it does things to my brain. I listen and it's like, oh, you know, it's like good. So oh, yeah, if you're if it's if the problem is that your music wasn't caressing your very neurons enough. Think about that. Think about dropping two hundred dollars and blowing your own mind. I feel like you're speaking a different language. I don't know what you even mean. It's two links. I could send you two links. Well, three, three links. And then if you do that for an evening, it'll, it might change your whole world. <laughs> yeah, no, the thing is like, what, like when you get good speakers and a great song, yeah. Yeah. and like, especially with good headphones, let me tell you, it's yeah. way better than like, I, I use earbuds filled with rust and water plugged into a phone that's underwater playing Spotify at half quality. And I'm like, it's fine. It'll be fine. But like a lot of the songs you enjoy sound like compression. You know, they, they sound like artifacting. <laughs> like, I, yeah, I, I, would, I wouldn't even know what it's supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's <laughs> incredible. Yeah. Oh, oh, promoter, promoter. Seriously. Oh, don't even start over here having bounce night for a bunch of white kids. So now it's a problem all of a sudden because all you listen to is Christmas music. Yeah, now it's a problem. That's right. Where are you from, Stinky? Stinky. Minneapolis. That is so on point. Of course, Minneapolis. Enough said. Christmas music. Just kind of creepy. That's all you listen to. Creepy? I'm going to listen to you about what's creepy? Whoa, 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 boys. <laughs> Christmas music is cozy. Helps me relax. That's cool, man. That's fine. God damn. <laughs> We're looking for a sculpture. Wow. <laughs> We're looking for one of Kenner John's sculptures. That ring a bell? You talking about the douche his little gang keeps calling the cops on me? Presumably that little douche. <laughs> you don't look like one of those mall Nazis. What's this about? Hi. <laughs> I'm a Garrett. I am the mother of a Garrett. Yeah, I'm gonna say I'm the mother of a Garrett. Uh, yeah, My son good. recently got into this stuff. I'm concerned. I am an academic. My condolences. I'm a father myself, but I hate to see my kid get wrapped up in this kind of thing. All right, let's go, mall Nazis. Anyway, anyhow, here's what I know. They got some game they play on their phone. They stick these devices around town like Easter eggs. They find the devices, scan them with their phones. Something like that. Not sure of the details. They hid one right outside the bar, so we had the little mall Nazis coming by every night to find it. But then last night, Ditchman came and grabbed it. Ditchman? <laughs> am, I, am I supposed to be like, am I really supposed to hit that line or what? Yeah, well, no, I, I like to use just a completely different voice. Like, I, I have a green text voice. There oh. you go. Who's Ditchman? He lives over by the mall. He's usually hanging around ditches, feeding the ducks. He's... 
He's Ditch Duck Man. Yeah. I don't know the guy, but Bell vouches for him, so... Sounds like we're heading back to the mall. All right. Uh, why does John's gang call the cops on you, huh? Why does John's gang keep calling you, huh? Did I freeze? Did I freeze my Ooh, yeah, freeze? Yeah, you sure freeze. did. Yeah. You, you freeze You're back. You're back. I am back. Promoter I don't know. League. Yeah. They try to get every show I book shut down. Maybe because they have nothing better to do. Why does Dishman come around here? This Dishman lives all the way out in Canada. Come What's coming here, here for? He buys stuff off Bell. What kind of stuff? Man glances down at Catherine's shoes. Why do you care? I'm just looking for a way into the mall. I'll say this. Ditch man gets stuff from there from here. He takes it to the mall. I think he's selling it to those little Nazis. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> I like how this is kind of like amateur voice acting if every line was completely bizarre. Dude, I think our voice acting is elevating this entire thing. Small group. Small group gossips conspiratorially. Music spilling from inside drowns out all but the vaguest details. A love triangle. Too much whiskey. Someone kicked in the wall in a fit of rage. Ooh. I'm trying to figure out why they're using beacons instead of geolocated uh, AR spots. Like, seems weird. Let's get a drink some other time. Sounds like what we're looking for is in Kenner now. Guess we're something going back to the mall, probably. All right, I, it appears so. So I guess I guess I'll just do what this fucking guy says. All right, let's let's do uh, let's case picker. I f I forgot that it oh, costs right. money to go everywhere. Yeah, I know, oh, right? It does that's horrifying. So does that, that mean like, you just lose the game? I assume uh, so. I assume so. If this is if, if it if you if you can actually win the game. I mean, then that's it's total bullshit. Like you need you need to be able to get hard stuck in a lost state. Yeah. yeah. Side lock, drainage canal. Hard stuck in a lost state sounds like a really good album. Downpour finds way into the drainage canal. Is it Christmas music. Yeah. I'll listen to that. Yeah. <laughs> hard stuck in a lost state. Wait, wait, what? Why? Why is this? Wait. <laughs> what? Stuck hard. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, where, where do we find this stone? So... Problem. So, okay. I, is it at the mall? Like, oh, maybe oh, it's I'm the somewhere mall. the second oh, sculpture. Maybe, can we go talk to the to the, to the the Nazis again? Because... The Garrett's? Yeah, the Garrett's. Can we go, go talk like to the Garrett's? Because the oh, ditch man... Oh, that's right. That's right. ...sells that's right. shit to the Garrett's. So maybe they know where he is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So let's... Sorry. Oops. I yawned and I became the most tired person in the world. Has I that do. ever happened to you? Yeah, oh, yeah, no. That happens Look at my to me eyes. anytime I have things I need to do. I'm feeling really motivated. I have like a cup of coffee. I'm like, all right, let's go. And then I yawn once and I'm like, I don't want to do anything anymore. I'm done. Yeah. I think I'm over. Well, the case of the old stone. Yeah. <laughs> He looks like Definitely. cat people. <laughs> <laughs> See these eyes so green. Wait, what the fuck? The Garrett's here we, we for can't... a thousand years. Can we talk to the person in the car? I don't remember who that is. Yeah, I, I guess I guess I'll do that. Don't you know my name? Oh right. Kate. What's under the car? Bag of chips? Yeah. Hot chip. It's time to get up, stand up. Oh. Oh god, I forgot about this. Alright, so... So this is the thing, is that, like, we, we can we can do the scanning here. I am friend, we need your help. Garrett said to speak with you. Can you help us find John's second sculpture? The first reading of John reads. Okay. Who Who is Apocryphon? Um, 
Apocryphon, I believe, is the the sort of uh, personified the, name of the, the app. The app? Yeah, Kenner okay. John's Apocryphon. We already checked there. Door guy at the bar said someone called Ditch Man grabbed the emitter from St. Somewhere's and brought it back to the mall. Said we should check the ditches around here. Yes. Oh, so go over by the river and use the app to scan it. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm... I'm. Oh my god. Literally, we, we were on it. It's like right here. It's the drainage canal. I thought we were going to see the guy. That's exactly what I thought, yeah. I mean, it's literally right there. It's incredible. Yeah. The, the, there's this whole scanning functionality on the phone that's really cool and completely unnecessary. Dude. I mean, sounds like every phone made it's, since 1998. Sounds like every game that I play. Oh, it does yeah. that? Well, that seems fucking completely unnecessary. So, my hair is getting so cool that I need to push my monitor farther so that more people can see more. Oh, hell yeah. I mean, it's beautiful. You know? Yeah, it's beautiful. It's good, right? Like, you know what? You know, yes. since it, since you know, I haven't talked about this on air, but uh, it is my birthday today. I'm uh, the dirty thirty-six. I mean, this might oh. be the first time you've heard me tweet or mention anything about it, which of course yeah. is understandable. Uh, but I gotta say, my hair also looking pretty good today. Now, it's lie. looking really good. Thank you. It's looking really good. Thank Hell you. Yeah. And that's because the hair on the bald spot and, and on the side bald spots, they're all converging together into, I I feel a little bit like I am monetizing my deception right now. And it feels good. It feels yeah. good to have hair that is a lie, you know? It's fine what's in this Apocryphon. Am I an Apocryphon right now? Am I Big Sean the Apocryphon? Second oh, reading yeah. from the Apocryphon of Kenner John. Uh, um, uh, Sean, can you do your most evil Apocryphon voice for us? Leave the hospital and discover faith, that immaterial essence. The essence of clean. Pray, Gary. <laughs> pray in the closet during the football games. This is incredible. Post prayers to the show forums just to fuck with the scum. <laughs> That's how the Garrets find you. Fuck yeah, what dude. One's named Garrett, so they're all named Garrett. Some kind of joke doesn't matter. You're Garrett, too. 27 Garrets in all. <laughs> Gotta catch all the Garrets. Well, they, that yeah. should actually be a great Pokemon competitor. You don't need to know any names. It's it's just Garrets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do they have numbers? No, 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 no. You you just described the Garrett. I like it. Garrett worked in the basement below the council chambers. Said they had a closet full of old computers. Garrett plugged one in, used it as a server. That's how Garrett hosted sermons in the sky. He projected videos of a guy he found online. Said he grew up in Kenner, just like Garrett. Garrett began watching him, too, and told the other Garretts to subscribe. Soon all the Garretts were watching Kenner John. And soon Garrett became powerful enough to remind people to hit that bell icon so whenever a new sermon was posted, they'd be notified. By the way, everyone, it really helps with the algorithm. Oh, God. I'm on the wrong side of TikTok, everyone. If you're cool, please interact. John summoned his flock to the ziggurat of Promenade Mall and taught them about Christ's hidden nature and other secrets of faith. You know, faith... Not Christ's hidden nature. Faith is a word that has a really personal connection for me anytime I see oh. it used in a dramatic way because when I was in uh, kindergarten and first grade I had a lisp and I had to go to a speech therapist oh. and sure. the amazing thing is that I, I could not hear the difference between S and TH when someone would be like no it's not faith it's face and I'm like that's lit I'm literally saying that I'm saying faith oh I, I, I couldn't hear it and so now not only do I hit my S's stupidly hard, like when I, when like if you have some of those Bose Companion 2 Bluetooth turnups, yeah. Lee, listen to me say anything with an S and you will feel that shit in your teeth. Interesting. Oh yeah, the trebliest S's. But now, 
when it's hidden nature and other secret of faith. Right? I, I like I see so many words through the lens of how I used to say wow. as a kiddo. Wow. And also, let's just agree that whoever named the word lisp is a fucking asshole. Yeah, I, I know. I know. We just cruel. I mean, I can. It's hard for me not to drop an O sometimes because of my time in Minnesota. If I say, see, even saying that word, if I say a word, rowboat, rowboat. Yeah. Robo. I'll drop an O, probably. Unless I, I overcompensate and then it's like robot. Wait, wait Robot. So, so like, like, is it because you hang on O's, someone from Minnesota? Roll. Um. Uh. <laughs> do, do you, do you row in a robot? <laughs> oh. yeah. Can you say the word, like the word, uh. Hole, as in, like, I fell in a hole? I and fell in a hole. Yeah, that O that sits way back down there, that's the O that I hit when it's like, boat. Oh yeah, we're, we're <laughs> Robo. just like, Robo. don't stick your finger in that hole. Like it's just like, went out on the boat. <laughs> and the funny thing is, it, it's hard to not do, but it's also <laughs> so much work. Saying those those, yeah. those deep O's is so like so much work that it's funny that it's a it's a it, it's, it, a, it's, it's very habit. opera. Yeah, yeah, it's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I can speak a dialect a little bit. I can be like, eh, we we're just going to go out in the boat there, get some of that fishing in there. We're going to go get some venison. You got a couple of meats on the, the rock, rock risers there. Meats on the, go the blinds and stole. <laughs> you got some, we're going to get some walleyes and some crappies if you want to go out in the boat today. <laughs> like, that's, <laughs> that's my, those are my roots. Dude, yeah, no, and of course, I, I like talking about the sort of su the very light southern Midwest where you don't really have a drawl, but you have a lot of speech patterns from the south of uh, no adverbs. It's my favorite one is no adverbs. You just hang the adjective for longer. It wasn't incredibly delicious. It was good. Oh, that movie? You like that? I thought it was bad. You just hang the adjective longer. You just let it hang longer. Oh, I thought it was absolutely horrific. No, don't flower it up. Just say the word longer. All right. Good. It's oh, good. yeah. He's... He spoke of these things on the server. Oh, the what the fuck? Team. Oh, oh Jesus oh, Christ! Uh, fuck, fuck me, man. Fuck. fuck me, man. Fuck me, dude. Well, oh my what God. do you think about Johnny? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you just hate him? The real fuck, isn't he? <laughs> Go back upstairs. You're in your know. fucking Sir Grey Wolf right now, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here, here's Sir Grey Wolf after he stopped guarding that stairwell or that bus stop or whatever he was fucking doing. Oh. Can I help you? Catherine, dear, it's I who will be helping you on this night. <laughs> I knew you'd come see me waiting in the ditches. Waiting. No trouble there, child. Happy to do it. <laughs> you need access to the mall. Here I am. Delighted to assist. Mm -hmm. The man eyes the ring hanging from Catherine's neck. And you even wear the stone of the Magdalene, just as she herself wore it. You are the image of her beauty. Oh, oh. <laughs> you have a necklace that's so sick. Back upstairs, you must go. <laughs> <laughs> you, wh why are you here? We were neighbors once upon a time, don't you remember? I've only come to help as neighbors to you. Catherine shakes her head. What is this? It's my responsibility to guide you and to watch over your children. The children. <laughs> I've been to see Kay. She is well. She is okay. <laughs> Excuse me? Question, question? Can you tell can you... me what this no, is about? No, it's Dallas. Can you tell me, can you tell me what this is about? It's about a boat. <laughs> a boat. I know the whole words to say it. It's about a boat, you know. It's about a boat. It's in Minnesota. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna give him a little of that in it here for a second. Yeah, yeah. The Garrett's they favor me over John, that little shrimp, that sad little boy. I'll be your guide into the mall, the sanctum of the Garrets. The sanctum of the Garrets, it's like, it's both so absurd, but yeah. because it takes itself so sincerely, I will take it sincerely. And I it love a, sincere media. It's oh. got a powerful energy uh, that is that I find horrifying. Yeah, uh, it's, It is indeed as what these Zoomers would call a vibe. 
Mm, I... Catherine turns to Dallas. Mm. This man, I, I think he's been following me. To help you. To help? I've always watched over you. What? But Lou, a good man, they say. An asshole. He wouldn't let your pow pow near you. <laughs> wow. I, I, I feel like this uh, this show, Mostly Walking, demonstrates why getting a good voice actor is so difficult. Because mm. when when any of, of we are voice acting, the voice has a certain drift. And I feel like that's a number that should be included in there. Where it's like, I just can't ever quite hit the fucking voice. It just keeps kind of going over and around. Here I am. I came to tell you. You need to worry about Kay. Keep, keep her name. <laughs> Catherine just says, uh, in a way unlike any way I've ever heard before say, keep her name. Out of your mouth. That's how she said it. That's how she said it. <laughs> because she'll be home perhaps too late for you. Dying, they say. <laughs> from becoming to being a philosopher, say. Where did you see my daughter? Walking through California like it were Galilee. Her robes freed, splendid divine. A child of Christ. No, not getting in a ditch with this guy. Fuck no. There's no one else in this place to help you. Do you see anyone else? Anyone who will help? See, this is the thing, Lee, is that we're, we're now getting the sinusoid of commitment. Where when you came busting out with that voice, I bet you had no idea there would be this much dialogue coming, yeah. right? And sometimes it's not you, a hard point. Yeah. And you got to push through, and you know, but it's it's really yeah. about the, the sincerity of the delivery that I, I, I want you to know, Lee, I really respect you. Yeah. Thank you. Well, that's all I seek is respect. I don't. I'm not here for critical acclaim or for viewers to actually enjoy what I'm doing. I just want respect. Yeah, 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 yeah. I want yeah. a little respect. I don't want your help. Don't want to be anywhere near you. Stay away from me and my family. Are we clear? I have all the time in the world. <laughs> that happened naturally. But you, dear, you do not. I am not here to frighten you, to harm you. Quite the opposite. Without my help, there will be no getting into this mall. Patience is a virtue of your papa. I am your only way in. Dallas leads Catherine from the canal. Find the last sculpture. We don't need his help. I, I know him. The old man smiles and gives an enthusiastic <laughs> wave to <as> Dallas. <laughs> Yeah, th this is how I'm going to wave now, and I see one of you. Oh, hey, Sean, hey, hey, hey. Is that, wait, Lee, is that you over there? Hey, Lee. Oh, gross. Sounds like a stock. I just, I don't know. Seems like this parking lot is full of strange men who know your name. Am I missing something here? What, you think I invited him? I don't know. Maybe. I'm just as confused as you are. That was amazingly creepy how he just sort of slid yeah. in. So, it was so well yeah, executed. Yeah, that was extremely, extremely creepy. So what were these things on the server? Beneath the council. Oh, I see. That under was quotes. the last one. Wait, under quotes. Crumple zone. You're talking about under quotes? Under quotes. What's what? Oh my god, is that a deep cut? What does that mean? <clears throat> Hold on, I need to hear back from Crumple Zone. <laughs> Hold the show. <laughs> Crumple Zone? Crumple Zone, can you hear me? <laughs> Crumple Zone. <laughs> it is under quotes. We did do under quotes. Alright, guys. Oh, I'm wait, gonna... wait, wait. Alright, boys. Boys, I'm gonna remind you about under quotes. Okay. Alright, no, so this we're is ready. A, this is a quote. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And but then, if you want to do something that's like a little more, like, kind of down low, you can do like, you can just do like a little bit of under like quotes. A, under yeah. quotes. Yeah. Yeah. Under, under quotes. quotes. It's 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 very it's it just makes it really creepy. It's 
fucking good. Like here, I yeah. think I need to get a little distance. I can say like, "Hey guys, uh, did you see that new movie? It was Doctor Strange. I thought it was like pretty good." Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, it's like, oh yeah, no, that's my colleague up here. That's someone you don't like where you. Oh yeah, but that's my colleague, right? Oh yeah. See, it's just literally the angle. No, stop. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, I thought it was the best movie in the MCU. Or just, I thought it was the best movie in the MCU. It's, like, it's yeah. kind of a come hither motion. Yeah, it um, really is. Yeah, uh, Jamie Antonis and I, I believe, I mean, under, I, I'm That's not claiming I sort of that I, inv- yeah, because Jamie Antonis and I sort of invented them, because okay. it was right. the sort of thing that a he... Real, a real Newton Leibniz sort of mutual discovery. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so I, I, I'm going to back out and ask yeah. how, how Dallas feels about old Papa. How do you feel about this Papa? Probably about how you'd expect, like he's batshit. Where is he pulling all that nonsense from? I don't know. I seem to attract these people. <laughs> Thought you might be the type. <laughs> this is conjecture, but my father, love him. He wasn't the most honest man to come out of Crevasse, Louisiana. He used to spin up all kinds of tall tales about our family's history. I had more than a few lost souls believing him. I this guy is part of the old man Pete's living legacy. Dallas laughs. <laughs> all right. So all that stuff about the necklace. Not even getting into it. Yeah, I get it. Just let me know if there's some Christmas music we can jam out to. <laughs> well, Spike. Hey, Spike. Is there any Christmas so, music we could listen to? Th- there was the server that is under the... Um, under something. Oh, wait. It's, it's server... City Hall. Right? Yes. Or, or city council or something? Yeah. Okay, so if I go back. Guess here. who's back? You know, Which city back hall again. is one of our locations, right? Papa's back. I, I don't think He's so. He's your friend. Need your help, Garrett said. It's, it it's hard to, to do under quotes. There like was for... a time with Catherine when we could go to city hall, but maybe that was in yeah. the previous vignette. The last reading has me stumped. Discovering the third reading of John is the most challenging. I could not help Gooch from the second reading of John. I could not help Gooch. All right. Like, hit us, hit us. John spoke of these things on the server beneath the council chambers as he did above the concrete in the New Orleans sky. Basement, sky. Council chambers. You're talking about City Hall. That's downtown. Are you people up there? Basement beneath City City Hall. You're fucking it up for the people that's out in the streets. Beep beep. So there's Saint Somewheres. Oh, downtown. We go downtown. We're so, eating through our our cash reserves pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have to do plenty. some super duck transacciones. City hall. There it is. Looks all blown out. Once again, it appears exactly in the middle of the the frame. I mean, it's pretty sweet, though. Oh, are you talking about? You mean the scanning you were talking about? Is that we never actually have to move? Yeah, we know it's got a whole mechanic for moving the thing thing side to side, and it doesn't actually do anything. Council chambers are on the first floor of City Hall, so we're in the right place. All right, get me out of here. Maybe they tried putting it off to the side, but it uh, it created bugs. Oh, there is Catherine. Uh, it would be harder to find, certainly. <clears throat> uh, Sean, uh, not Sean, uh, Lee. Sean, because you're going to be Dallas. Lee, uh, can you be the city hall guard? Welcome to New Orleans City Hall. No city council <laughs> sessions this evening. <clears throat> Building's closed. The Garrett sent us? Guard looks at Dallas up and down. <laughs> nah. We're here because of Kenner John. I've let a lot of people pass through the evenings, wanting to take a picture from the roof or whatever the hell. None of them look like you two, following my gut here. We're serious! Okay, does the city know about this? So the city just yeah, lets these them. garrets come in and out after hours? I do what I'm told. You looking for a reason? 
go somewhere else. We're serious. We're training to become Garrett's. Why? Uh, uh, I guess to earn Counter John's favor. I mean, what? I, what's this dude's read? I want Counter John to notice us. You ever watched any of that man's videos? Hey. Guys lost a few marbles oh, along no. the way. Uh, they make sense to me. Guard shakes his head. This whole city lost its mind. Listen, there's some funny stuff that happens in this building at night. If you're thinking you can just walk up onto the roof, it's not like that. And be careful getting around. One of the generators went dead, the elevator is out, and so are the stairwell lights. Catherine enters the building. Okay. Ahead is an oh. elevator corridor with a stairwell. A long unmarked hallway oh. extends to her left, the exit is at her back. Are we hacking? This looks like we're mm. hacking. We are on level 1F. Yeah. We have one fuck to give. Stairwell. The stairwell. Yeah. Kevin, there's the pitch black stairwell. Go up. I mean, just keep going up until you can't oh, go man. up anymore. This, this is, is a text adventure. Feel around. Kevin takes nothing of interest. Go up. She felt too greedily and too deep. <laughs> there is nothing to be felt here. Incredible. Oops. Feel around. Uh, I didn't feel around 5F. Feel around. You, there's got to be an Easter egg in one of these if you feel around, right? Yeah, there's got to be something somewhere. Ah. Whoa. There's an unlit office. She tries the light. No power. A window looks beyond Duncan Plaza towards the French Quarter. This is probably the Believe. window that we saw. That's weird. That is that weird. Was weird. That was weird. Feel around. Shit. Damn. Oh, fuck. The Fine. final level. This is killing me. <laughs> Next, it's on cast an obscure red glow over the area. The head is a steel door with panic bars. Mounted to the wall beside it is a magnetic card reader. Oh my god. We need oh, I'm sorry. I'm Dallas. This must lead to the roof. I'm, I'm just... Right I can't Slump. believe that we don't have a card. We're going to have to go all the way down... Oh, if you if you go down to seven, can we steal a card from the office? Did we thinking. not feel around an office hard yeah. enough? Well, we didn't know what we were looking for. Do you need a flashlight? Fuck. Wait a minute. Perhaps, oh, Sean, damn. do you think we need a torch? Sean, do we need a torch? Oh, a torch. Oh, get me out of here. Oh, I left it in my boot. Hey, Panzer Bjorn. Bjorn, Borg leader. Damn. Dude, Borg gift and nine, Panzer Bjorn gift and ten. It's my birthday up in this. Hell yeah. <laughs> Rest elevator panel, floor display with the others. Doesn't sound the elevator's incoming. Hey, Chad, Garden I was wondering if we could... generated power as it is down. Chad, I Let's was wondering down. if we could do a little something special for oh, Sean. Shit. I'd like you all to sing uh, "Happy Birthday." Hold chat, on, let please. me let me sit down for this. I want to be ready for this. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm feeling like I'm a shifty baby. Shifty babies. All right, Chad. So let's go. Three, or uh, one, two, three. Happy. Happy. Now you take it, chat. Oh, no, we can do it too. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to, to happy birthday happy to you. Birthday to happy you. birthday to you. Happy birth birthday. happy <laughs> birthday dear Sean. Day. Birthday. 
today more. Happy <laughs> birthday, dearest Sean. You. Woo! Yay! Thanks for singing along, chat. We really did it. Yay! Wow, that was. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Are you ready to go to this <laughs> hall figure? For my birthday, I want to go down a, a dark, dank hall. Oh, oh, go go dank, Sean. Ooh, Catherine turns corner immediately meets the Ow. stare of a man squatted on the ground in the stuttering light of the hallway. <laughs> oh, okay. encounters okay. an album cover. Squatted on the yes. ground in the stuttering light of a <laughs> hallway. I wouldn't stick around too long. What's that supposed to mean? The man's demeanor in the change. He moves a receipt from his shirt pocket with a note scribbled on the back. This is slow. It's to read. <laughs> on the seventh floor is a planner, but if you don't listen closely to the following, you'll hide. In the darkness are hands you must shake. Do so in the order I say. Any missteps, and the elevator will clear the mistake. Oh boy. Is this going to be some memorization? Uh, I don't know. The first number in our sequence is the floor above the council chambers, third most distant from the sky. How many floors were there? Ten, right? Ten? Yeah. Because that would then be seven or eight. Third. So Above 10, is the, the, council 10 is the first most distant, 9 is the second most distant, 8 is the third most distant, right? Och, the Ocho. Yeah, yeah. this is right. There are 11 floors, should one count the basement. Our second number is that which makes an even divide. 6? Well, there's 12, right? Because... Oh, well, there, there's 10 normal floors plus basement, right? So it's B. One, two, three, four, oh, five, yeah, six, seven, right. eight, nine. That so right. that would be five, right? Five. Then there's six, seven, eight, nine, yeah, ten yeah, on this yeah, side. Yeah. One, two, three, four, B. So I guess, I guess it's yeah, eight, it's five. because it's base zero. Eight, okay. It's base zero, it's motherfucker. Base zero. <laughs> and the third is just above it. Fifth. From the sky. Alright, so we have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. So that checks out, so it's 856. Just above it, yeah. 856. If you need help, my friend is outside the building. Open the Brian. app and help you there. Good luck. <laughs> what a game, what a game, what a game. I know, Jesus. It what has a bit good. of a Terry Gilliam thing going on. Uh, yeah. I don't know that I've watched enough so, Terry Gilliam to like really. I think anyone has. So on floor Space. seven is the planner, or floor seven is the planner, and also apparently the council chambers. All right, so I guess we actually did need to. So if I actually just type A tier. What if you go? Oh. Go to the elevator and punch in. No, not that. Okay, I was thinking you would oh, actually go to floor eight and yep. like do something. You're right. We need to go to floor eight and we need to feel around. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have to feel the feel them in the correct order, right? He yeah. said, shake our hands. So I think we're maybe going to feel around and do a little handshaking in the dark. Touch of another's hand. Startled, she grasps oh. drawing her own. Beautiful. Yeah, that's horrifying. What is it? Hello? Hello? Stairwell is silent, but for the decaying echo of his voice. I mean, this <sighs> is this is starting to get scary. Oh. <sighs> it is pretty scary. Down one more. People shouldn't write things that get scary. Yeah. Yeah. People shouldn't write things that get scary. True. New rule. New rule. Uh, and that's three handshakes. 
and nothing happened. What's it say on the receipt? Well, I hit the elevator button. Guy in the basement said, friend is right outside. I think we go to floor seven and check the office again. I think this That's guy's, I think this guy's telling us, hey, we didn't do the puzzle right. We need to set up, try it again. Nope, yeah, because I feel like we got these correct. I think he said we didn't. Like, it sounded like the game designer was telling us, hey, it player, sure does, you did it wrong. I think the designer doesn't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. Wow. That guy, I'm not going to voice him. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, 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 help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, it said. First uh, time words the floor above the council chambers. Damn. What, so, how does that, because there's the, the third most distant from the top? There's the Wasn't third most distant from the sky. Oh, so maybe, but I maybe the sky is a metaphor. Maybe the sky is not really a thing. Yeah, no, that's. I bet, you know, that one, if they were not so great, they might think it was seven, because they think, oh, 10 minus three. Blah, 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 blah. This, this is two, third... two, five, six, then. Wait, third most distant. That would be two. Oh! oh. <laughs> All right, so 11 <laughs> floors include the basement. Only one makes an even divide. The third uh, is just I above. I think it's two, five, six. Yeah. So, so you think it's two, five, six? Yeah. Beep, 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 beep. Dude, yeah, no, I. Blue, 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 blue. To the down hall. Oh. Oh no! You gotta do the elevator. Clear the. It's a handshake and clue taken. Cook bacon, it's a mess around with me. Okay. Shit. So there's unseen huh. hands on every floor yeah. just waiting for you to fuck up. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That seems like a lot of, you know, staffing. 256. It's a good job. It's a good job if you can get it. It begins to pull Catherine slowly towards the floor. Dude, I think the Norco virus super duck bird is going to be slurping us in. Catherine? It's... <laughs> the hand jerks her violently to the floor. Dell attempts to intercept the figure in the dark, but only meets the wall. Interception! Hey! He slaps the wall. Tell me who the fuck is there? His echo trails off into the extremities of the stairwell. Scatter looks up from the ground, the light switches on high above them. Dallas, help me up, please. Dallas recovers Catherine from the floor. She hangs her arm over his shoulder. You're not in any kind of condition to be doing this shit. I know it. I see a light. She gestures weakly. Up there. No? Oh. I'll carry you. No, it's fine. Let's just go find this planner. Get to the roof. Whatever it takes to be done here. Go up. Oh, yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. Can I just say this is like such a clever sequence just in terms of its presentation? It is. It. is. I'm like... Well, I guess Cyberduck is pretty fucking cosmic horror like it, it mm. is there's a there's a like genre thing going on that i'm not yeah, yeah, yeah invisible hands reaching out from the darkness uh as a way to enter your numeric code is pretty fucking wild oh I yeah i expecting that oh yeah is i mean this is way more compelling than the pulling of a strange undertow 
All right. <laughs> Catherine steps into the warm lamplight glow of the seventh floor office overlooking Duncan Plaza. A man sits at a desk facing the window. He looks back at Catherine. Office is closed. I'm trying to get to the roof. I was hoping I could get access to the roof. The planner turns in his chair. <laughs> that was very close to being a Rick Fritz. I see. <laughs> Any chance you could help? You don't look like the other ones. Say that. Excuse me. I am Garrett. Where's your shirt? Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> Fuck. Planner dismisses Catherine with a hand wave and points towards the right in the door. Planner. He card hanging on the rack. He returns to his original posture. took the key card the from the rack. So, uh -huh. this dude's been working late at his office in pitch blackness. Yes. And... We came in to his office twice. Yes. And he just sort of continued to work in pitch blackness without acknowledging us or being interrupted. Yes. Okay. I needed to sit for a moment. Of course. Dallas gestures to a nearby air conditioning unit. Chill out, buns. Let's sit. Let's sit on this air conditioning unit. I could show you a Norco. Damn. The soundtrack Into hits different out here. This. Running around like this on my 49th birthday. What a life. Birthday? Today's your birthday? Hey, Dallas and I have hey. the same oh, birthday. Hey. All right, chat, everyone. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. <laughs> Today is my birthday. At least it's memorable. No question there. You all right? I'm fine. I just need to breathe for a minute. That was strange. You can never be normal with super. Always got to be some shit like that. So I keep doing it. I don't know. Dallas lifts his hand in resignation. There's not much else, really. Not anymore. What would you rather be doing? You could. What I'd like to do is be home with my daughter and my grandchild. Where's home? Hollow Grove, right near the canal. They started staying with me a few months back. They liven up the place. Well, kids do that. You got any? A son and a daughter, two years apart. Still at home. My younger one can't get him out of the house. My daughter, she doesn't want anything to do with me. Thought maybe when I was diagnosed she'd come around, but... She never did. Catherine looks towards the westbound traffic. No, never did. Hurts to be dropped like that. Sometimes it hurts worse the more time passes. I just know I won't see her before I die, and that... It does. It does hurt. It hurts. And then you die. Happy He's birthday cursed. to me, everyone. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, I, um... I, uh, Britt introduced me to the boys television yeah series. i love that show and it is it's grim it's it's yeah, very grim. very dark and yeah. for some reason i went god this reminds me of another comic book author named garth ennis who wrote yeah. uh, an absolutely horrifying series called crossed and then i learned that garth ennis wrote the boys <laughs> oh wow and for some reason i was like oh yeah i want to i read crossed a long time ago i'm gonna reread that that was way darker than the boys. And then I like stopped and I was like, Jesus, what am I doing? Like, oh my God, this is, a... we need to watch, we need to watch a Korean drama. So we started watching Business Proposal, which is great, which is uh, good stuff. Good stuff. So now we, we keep doing like a few, few episodes of boys and a few episodes of like Survivor or mm -hmm. Our Flag Means Death. It's very Oh uplifting. yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! What's the, what's the deal with Cross? Like, what if you had to pitch it? I, I like, what's the? I'd be like, don't, don't. <laughs> yeah, read no, that. no. Read so, the book. Don't read that book. I mean, I, I'll, I'll answer if you really want me to, but you shouldn't. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, what's um, the... it is, it is effectively a zombie apocalypse. Uh huh. Except instead of it being that there's zombies, it's that there is an infection that causes people to give in to their most base and violent and perverse desires. 
Oh, okay. So it just sounds like it's a, uh, uh, it's just a blank check for the writer to be like, <laughs> here we go. <laughs> Let's yep. get some of these ideas out. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Iconic bear. Yeah. Yep. You got it. Iconic bear. That's that's the name of someone in chat. I'm not just calling you Iconic Bear all of a sudden. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's incredibly, it's 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 awful. The two of them okay. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's not all bad. Just hope there's something on the other side. Am I right? There is. I know there is. The ones I hurt and left behind, I'll go see them there. I'll get to apologize. <laughs> sure. Amen. Sure. <laughs> sure. But let me ask you the same question you asked me. Why keep doing this? Not a lot of runners our age. Long story. This is my first time on the app, but things have been interesting for a while now. Could have a straight job once upon a time, but that didn't last too long. Yeah, why not? Let's just say I lied on my resume. Nearly everyone you meet has a story like that in this line of work. Nothing special about me, then. I wouldn't say that. The old man in the ditch thinks you're special. Let him think <laughs> it. So you figure this last sculpture is around here somewhere. <clears throat> I said something about it being in the sky. Well, you better scan. I I feel like it's going to be just right in the middle. What? 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 But you need to go up into the sky, don't you? Don't you need to go up in the sky? I mean, didn't it also say, like, it's underground? So I don't know... I did oh. like how the two of us... Oh, there we go. Up in the sky. Oh! Slightly to the side. Third reading from the Apocryphon of Kenner, John. New Orleans is a pit and Garrett's stuck in it. New Orleans is the lowest world. A messenger visits John. Tells him about the early faithful now living in the cavities of the Martian moons. Tells him there's a way to commune with them through the ad 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 Adamic language of angels and Adam spellcasters and others who know God's mind. There's a chrism. Chrism? A fluid that John must imbibe. I don't know that word. It's in, in an egg that floats in the sky. It's this a, has gotten it's a real oil. weird. It's an oil used to christen. You christen with a chrism. Christen, a Christ, christen with a chrism. Okay. Yeah, that's why Christ is called Christ because he's the anointed one. Oh. Hence, Christians. Oh. Christians. Yeah, yeah, look, I got my chrism. Oh, that's you know, Lee. You you might want the Merriam-Webster dictionary app to say chrism on your Bluetooth speaker and compendium <laughs> to Bose speakers, because I bet you'll actually hear notes in that that you wouldn't have heard otherwise. Yeah. All right. There's a chrism. It's an uh, egg. That's how you get your music, Sean. Your Christmas music. Christmas. Right. That's right. <laughs> yeah, Christmas. Christmas. I really like listening to Christmas. <laughs> John Christmas. is blessed with a plan to escape the low world's reach. The Garrets must build a spacefaring ark, a vessel with which to leave this earth. Another really horrifying really comic that I actually would recommend is called Ramina by Junji Ito that uh, involves a, a cosmic destruction event of Earth. And as one of the horror storylines, there's a group that is trying to leave the planet Earth to go to a different planet. And... Things just it, go, it, go it, over it, swimming. It turns out... It turns, it, I'll say it's a horror comic, and it doesn't end great for many of the entities involved. <laughs> it, but it's, it's very it good. It takes a Junji Ito turn... Oh, yeah. Somewhere in there? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's some good this stuff. This is my comic. It was meant for me. <laughs> <laughs> I just met a squirrel ah. named Olivia. Having imbibed the chrism, John may ascend beyond the distortion of the low world and listen oh, for the twilight language. Two Garrets work together at Stennis. John appoints them to oversee the task. They soon find other engineers sympathetic to their plan. The Garrett's labor for 678 days. And in that time, the Ark is complete. 
All that remains is the egg, which holds the chrism to know God's mind. They just keep saying chrism. 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 I, I just want to take a moment to just note that, again, the world and the writing in this game, it's fucking incredible. It's pretty out there. It's pretty outstanding out there. It's yeah, good. It's I, so I love, good. I, it's so good. So is that it? It, it really Final is. Three? It's true. Pins, you're I'll go ask the kids at the mall. Mall ball? City hall? Reminds me of Prism. fucking Saturday, man. I'm like running out of funds. Holly Grove. DJ Christmas-ism? Uh, I mean... I just wish this all my chrisms or wasms. You I, know what I mean? We, I, like, we could go to Holly Grove on the way because I assume that eventually we'll want to go to Holly Grove, but pretty sure whatever we eventually do in Holly Grove, we won't be able to do until later, so. Well, we're going to get 82 quack. We're going to get so many. Big quack no, energy. We, can we pay for our cab in quack? Oh my Only God. if you ride a quack cab. Hmm. Catherine, we will send an advance to your wallet in order for you to complete the mission. Please do not waste our time. The game knew that we were getting broke. Damn. Oh, game knew. Yeah. Look at this. We got quack bucks. Quack bucks. Hey, Panzer Bjorn with another 10 on our happy Furs Day. Happy birthday. Damn. A bappy hers day. Oh, yeah. Oh, happy It's bapping in. <laughs> the bapping in. Bappy hers day. Da, da, da. Where, where where did they, they go? go? Those two little shits, where did they go? Where did they go? <laughs> Hell. Hell. Why did we just waste our time? We have to get in there. Only one option comes to mind. Look at that dude on the oh. right. Oh, no. Dude. Oh. Oh, it's a creep in a ditch. Afraid so. There's one All on right. the left as well. I bet you that this is when we get another peek. At Super Duck. I mean, this guy has been absolutely ducked out of his mind, man. He's been yeah. souped. We... It was like, uh, Super Duck, I'll need... take the soup. Uh... We need your boat. Oh. His face is pure glee. Pure glee. How wonderful. A boat ride into John's fucking skull. We'll live inside it. I just, like, one day, just once... I want to only speak like this to people. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Hey. Hello. Calm down. Keep your distance. Lower your voice. We need the boat, not you. Now, I have been consuming a lot of horror and body horror. Hmm. I bet we're literally going to get in his skull. Yes. The mole, the mole. John Skull, John Skull. The boat is just a little further down the canal. Let us go and visit the sanctum of the garrets. Okay. Okay. Oh, we're back. We're back. We're back. Uh, we're back. Okay. Yeah, we're breaking, real, real breaking world. into... Breaking into a factory or something? Yeah, so if we actually go to this overworld map... So we're, we're currently at S.H.I.E.L.D. So we went and visited um, a man in Dimes who refused to leave his home when uh, the factory at S.H.I.E.L.D. wanted to take over everything. That's right. And so there was access to the internal intranet of the facility. And so we used that server to move the bots around in sort of a shifty, swifty, puzzly, wuzzly woo. We then got the ability to go to this entrance, and this feller here, Lucky, with, with Lucky's dog Pots, Lucky uh, has a shotgun that allowed us to just blast right through those fuckers that were here. Oh, yeah. We totally did. We blasted those fuckers like there was no tomorrow. We fucking blasted them. All right, let's go to the gourds. We fucking blasted them. <laughs> fucking blasted. Yeah, with uh, Falcon blouse to them. Uh, have you, uh, Lee? Have you seen um, Peaky Blinders? No. Well, there's something that they always say in their super thick rad accents, which is by the order of the Peaky Blinders. 
And all over my apartment complex, there's by order of the fire department. Okay. You keep this door shut at all times. But it's on, yep. like, 60 doors in this place. It's on, like, all these doors. And so, for Halloween, I really want to just tape over the fire department and put Peaky Blinders. Like, by order of the Peaky Blinders. And, like, put little hats next to them. And then when the apartment burns down, someone gets sued. Like, I think that this is really <laughs> exciting. It's, like, a good setup. That sounds really pretty good. Pretty good idea. Yeah, but there, there's like with um, with their accents, they, they, they would say house with like an I, like heis. Heis? Yeah, like heis. burn down the heis. <laughs> like, hey. oh my god. And when they, when they say peaky blinders, oh, it's fucking so sick. It's a good show too. Here we go. But they do all have little hats. Oh, creamy. An instruction manual for the operation of Shields Railroad Crane Network. Okay, let's go ahead and fucking take that. Cool. You read from the manual. Shields Railroad Cranes can be operated from a safe distance using the control panels located at various points around the facility. Mm -hmm. Each crane is labeled with a unique identification number. Okay. To operate a crane, enter the prefix code 2914, followed by the crane ID. This is no big deal to remember because 2814 is one of my favorite uh, musical groups. One poster hangs on the wall. Wanted. Drone Fleet Captain Sun A-19, commonly known as the Drone Priest, is missing and considered armed and dangerous. Contact Shield community if sighted. Do not approach. Huh. Real- Oh, so this is like their automated defense system captain is missing and considered armed and dangerous. That's so sick. It's- It is a drone. It's a drone that has defected from the- yeah, it's it, core? It's a you could say you could say that it's flown the corp. <laughs> that was a high effort joke that sounded low effort. Dude, like that's that's all I ever want to do. Like this is elevated shit posting. Oh. The left security monitor displays a freight elevator. The middle security monitor displays the Good Hope Cemetery, raised tombs surrounded on all sides by refinery architecture. The right security monitor displays a freight moving robot hanging limp from a crane. All right, so let's go to the computer. She Commit was a freight moving robot hanging limp from a crane. <laughs> Command terminal sits open on the computer's desktop. All right, so we don't do that one yet. A map of shield security zone A is displayed in the monitor. There was an idea. <laughs> so let's see, we're here. So here's the freight elevator. Here's the crane. Here's the plantation. All right. So with this one, we we in order to operate this, we need to learn what the labeling on the elevator is. Let me just scan here for stuff because there's a radio. We just just bouncing off of that, riffing off of that. Uh, yeah. The other day, I stumbled across on I don't know Reddit or maybe Twitter. Uh, mm -hmm. A six-minute compilation video every time the word Avengers has been spoken in the MCU <laughs> movies. Uh -huh. And I was like, do I want to spend six minutes watching this? And I watched it for six minutes. And yeah. I was like, okay, that was not that great. That oh. is like, the fucking story of content these days. Like, so like, few... What the fuck? <laughs> no, like, there are so few fucking people making good content and when i say so few people i mean like the number of major youtube channels or youtube videos that are recommended by the algorithm or uh games shows that like i i i open up and i'm like i don't really know if i'm in the mood for this and then i watch it and i'm like yeah that's stunk no. and youtube's like wasn't, all right sean loved this let me recommend to him more stuff like this uh, no. I mean, it's ah, it's yeah. terrible. It's like, rough. like, it's kind of amusing. Like, oh, is this even going to be good at all? It's almost like it got you because of the inability to evaluate it. I was like, I somebody spent a lot of time putting this together. <laughs> there's probably some there's something transcendent about it, right? Like, right. Yeah. I'm gonna watch be. this and I'm gonna see like a through line or some kind of interesting juxtaposition. And it's just a lot of like, uh-huh, I remember that scene. Uh-huh, okay. that scene. Yep, they also that said scene. that. There, okay. Very and well. then 
it got to the end and I was like, there's only one time that I actually, as a human being, remember the word Avenger being said. Um, and it wasn't in the compilation. So, like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, I, I the thing that has been killer to me is in the last two months, I've been looking up various weird how-to type videos. Not for interesting content. I mean, like, for instance, my phone, when I set it to automatic time, it picks central time zone instead of Pacific time zone. And I can't figure out how to get it to correctly, <laughs> automatically get the right time zone. So I know, I know how to set it and set my own shit, but I don't know how to, like, get it to automatically line up. Convince and I must have... You don't know how to convince it. And I mean, like, I have seen videos that are like, how to fix automatic date adjustment time problems on your phone. And it's like a six minute video where it just says facts as though it's trying to pass a Turing test. No! Where it's like, there are many devices that run the Android operating system as it is very extensible. It can include many customizable features and one of the most common features is the automatic date and time adjustment. Automatic date and time allows you to move to different time zone and automatically will adjust your time and date accordingly. To go to this setting, and I mean like literally four minutes into this video, no, oh, it's showing how to go to the, the setting page and navigate to turn it off or on, which is just a slider. And then it says, <laughs> for more videos, please hit this button. And I was like, <laughs> And that that is oh also God. like what all Google searches do now. There's been so many yeah. so many years of SEO optimization yeah. that like Google is no longer a useful tool. It's true. <laughs> or binging it no longer useful. And I actually think that just tweeting is the most useful way to get information. The the, the Kibler mm, Google, where you just go. That's a good point. Hey, how do I fix this issue? And then there's other people that go, man. That sounds horrible. I also hate that developer. And I'm like, I don't fucking hate anyone. I just feel like I want to fix the thing. <laughs> and someone responds, hey, you should do more StarCraft content. Like, it's fucking, like, it's like, it's just a different kind of fucking jumble of shit. All right. Well, now that we're in, take a look at what Lucky got. Man crouches down, opens his backpack, and reveals two grenades. You got these from a guy at the burger place. Lucky done played with bigger grenades than this. These little toys. Loud as it is around here, they ain't likely to make much ruckus. If we get any more scuffles, they might be handy, but we best be choosing. He only got just two. He zips his backpack, tips his hat, smiles. Uh, Lee, I believe you're million. There'll be no use against St. Clair models that guard Good Hope Plantation. Well, sure, them guards not your average type. We'll need to find some other way to get rid of them. What do you suggest? No like I say, there's that big bastard hanging from a railroad crane over there. Freight mover, robot just like you. Might be your partner. Let's go talk with you. <laughs> a mover has no agency. <laughs> Nor does someone trying to get a home in Los Angeles in 2022. <laughs> hey. Hey. Now you know, I thought you wasn't a St. Clair. Oh my god, this kitty's tummy is just so exposed right now. Aww. We are getting some serious kitty tummies. Hey, let me see if I can present the tummy. Hello. Oh, no, we don't like it's that. It's like, what are you doing? It's like, what what, what in the, the fuck? world? <laughs> Why would you do that? You come up with something better, Lucky, all year. Till then, he gotta go with his gut. Lucky doesn't gotta get help from all kind of robots. Robots. Oh, robots. We, did we, we just broke in here, right? Like, there's people all around. Yeah, we didn't just break in either. We, like, fought our way in. We, we like, murdered a bunch of guys? We stormed the ca pa Palisades? Pas What's that word that I'm looking for? Palisade. Ca what, what, pa Palis uh, Pacific. What is a Pacific Palisade, by the way? That is a uh, location wow. in Los Angeles that is way southwest. Okay. Would it, would it, pal, palisade? Two men watch the monitor display above the freight elevator. So what is this? They're gonna make us go to space now? Imagine the overtime you'd get, bro. Not to mention the hazard pay. Mm, shit! I wish I could be like one of the old timers retirement workers. Call. 
Careful what you wish for. You know them old guys who play it up for the news. They bump their heads trying to shoot and get paid vacation. Give me a break. You knew one of the ones who died in the blast? Yeah, I knew a couple. Blue, Wiki, good guys. Wiki weren't on the planet two weeks. It's work, no joke, bro. Somebody gotta do it. I don't know why I opted to do both these voices. People want to drive around, <laughs> eat their microwave dinners, all that shit. That don't come free. Somebody gotta make it. Just hope it ain't us next time. Keep your eyes and ears open. The ones that get hurt ain't paying attention. Ah, yes, the myth of workplace injury. Allison is like a Did he pet. just say that Blue died in the blasts? Yeah. So yeah. they just happened to be talking about... They just Blue happened to be talking dad? about your dad. Yeah. Whoa. I think mean, part is going over that to HQ. That is a little weird. Saw inside one of those parties one time. Don't want to think about it. What was it like? I'll tell you when you're older. Oh my god, debauchery. Debauchering. <laughs> so here is the crane platform entrance. Barricades. Yes, I was thinking storming the barricades. Not the palisades. You would climb the palisades, wouldn't you? The door to the crane platform is locked. We need to disable security. Oh, interesting. Freight elevator is locked. Are we prepared for another confrontation? Slow down, Lucky gonna tell you right now. Getting past these boys is no joke. Same contract bots like she at the entrance. We got to cause us a distraction. We need security on site this hour. We'll make a ruckus. There might be enough to clear this area. It's Lucky's advice. Oh, so you got some better idea. Yeah. All right, so these guys just will fucking shit on our shit. They look and also pretty there tight. are like, vultures hovering in the background. Yeah. So, do we see a number for this crane? Can you open the box up? Which box? That one. No, it says the door to the like crane platform is locked. Oh. So, let's see here. Let's go ahead and go to the entrance. Oh, Ooh, disengage lock. Rail of lock disengaged. Drone bay lock disengaged. Oh, yeah. Tough command. Oh. Security status. User status authenticated. Freight elevator disengaged. Drone bay lock disengaged. Oh. Sweet. That is something different was... than I thought it was. That's, that was cool. So we're on the crane platform. Wires drift in the wind above the catwalk. Your eyes follow them upwards. Oh, 16. Okay. Whoa. To a large Whoa. freight mover hanging from a railroad crane. Speak. Shot towards the machine to get its attention, but it remains unresponsive. Whoa. A million emits a high frequency whine. Silence follows. A voice swells from the sky as the mover begins to speak. You will dive into the water, and the depths will become the surface. The breeze will change the shape of the flame, and the flame will be as boundless as the territory that it lights. Holy shit. What? Ideologue robots. Hey, buddy, keep it down. No time to make you shut up. You will find in the water not only flames, but the whole hurricanes. There will be patterns of light that form the shape of the old bayous where those who killed the for freedom still hide. Uh, breath control. Ooh, it's like a poem or breath something? Control. Rattling cages on the tracks and whispering at the pond. Perhaps the pond will whisper back. That ground, that soil, those bloody days. The lights of the lanterns became this very flame. All right, be Jesus straight with Christmas. me. You gonna help us out or not? That robot's just spitting out flavor. You yeah. will find the old pull boat where the ghosts still hide their eyes. There are mall eyes and ditch eyes and bayou eyes. Wait, I think this might be more like 80s hair metal. Like, you find the old pull boat <laughs> where the ghosts still hide their eyes. There are mall eyes and ditch eyes and bayou eyes. Uh, 
Like that kind of maybe? Oh, there's I eagle eyes that. and duck eyes and carnal eyes. There are John's eyes and there are your eyes. Your eyes are the refinery eyes. Is it weird to anybody else that he's like making references to the things that are happening in the parallel game with... I think that's absolutely what's happening. Yeah, because I genuinely think that this is... That since our mother is dead... Oh, shit. We have to be playing something that happened in the past. So this is happening after these events. So I right. think Super Duck is, is growing more and more and infecting all sorts of things. Oh, I guess I was wrong to think this Super thing Duck would knows be any there's help. a connection between us and... Mm, yeah, yeah. Interesting. It's the number on his chest. It's 016. Remember that, all right? That's identification number for the crane it's hanging on. That's how they do it around here. Let's go find the controls. Drop the Scoofy Bastard right on the guards. Wouldn't that be a hoot? All right, nice. Brutal. That's really cool, actually. I like, kind of like these crazy, crazy robots. It's kind of ooky spooky, you know what I mean? It's got, this has got like a little bit of uh, um, first season of True Detective, sort of like, yeah. I think I understand what's going on here. Oh, oh I don't understand shit. what's going on here. You know how I like to only watch popular things a million years later? I gotta watch True Detective. True Detective Season it. 1 is also very grim and really dark. Okay. You should. Sounds good. Grim after dark. after you read the first volume of Crossed as a palate cleanser, you can watch True Detective before returning back to some gruesomeness with Romina by Junji Ito. So. so there it is. Like, you know. Good home flame ain't burning too hot tonight. Some nights just didn't get bigger than anything you can imagine. I had the whole parish up. E buck howdy. Oh, that's a big. Wow, that's very big. <laughs> that's like. <laughs> my God. Any thing controls your crane over there? Maybe we could cause a little trouble. World detectors. Oh, do I need to do 2914016? Any override confirms or sequence initiated? Oh, sweet. Like moving path code. One. Whoa. Hmm. I believe that's determined by the movement code that you just entered. Okay, but this ain't the direction I'd hoped. It seems to be slowing down. Surely it will stop before it reaches the flame. Well, they might have a code that sends things straight into I mean, a damn gas flame. Okay. Okay. Oh my. That thing rambled a bit, but I wasn't trying to kill it. You set out to cause a distraction. This most certainly qualifies. This is actually like a very cute thing in an adventure game where instead of having to solve a puzzle, something horrible something horrible goes wrong, and it's like, yeah, that's fine. It seems good. Oh, well, that's what happens when you talk poetry to your old Lucky. Let's hope the explosion drew a few guards away from headquarters. <laughs> this don't do it. Nothing will. Wait, y'all hear something? Look. Oh, oh! Oh, shit! Oh. What? Oh, it's it's the, it's the oh, renegade it's the security priest. bot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can anybody tell me if this thing's hostile? They can't decommission me! Oh, decommission the drone priest, baby! <laughs> the drone priest is gonna kill you! Gone, gone, gone forever! Gone forever. Oh, yeah, you be that one. This whole refinery is <laughs> you damn clown show. Come, my little ones, let's dance! Alright, Lucky. Damn, shoot we this. Have to, I don't, I don't want to fight it. Oh. Gotta fight smart. Kill the, kill the mobs. Let's do the light one. Oh, wow! You shit! You rocked it. Brutal. Jesus! Just shooting K. Yeah, just murder. Whoa! What in good lord's name? Hurly, hurly, merrily. Can we bring the body in for a bounty? 
Oh. <laughs> Look it. No guards. <laughs> Guess Lucky was right. Ah, Rachel Maddow says the drone priest has hype drones. It's true. <laughs> what in the fuck am I looking no. at now? What I, in the fuck am I looking at? It's, a, it's an Albaniric. What? <laughs> I know, right? An Albaniric? Oh, yeah, the, the Albanorics from uh, Elden Albanoric. Ring. Albanoric, yeah. Oh, I have an Elden Ring. I'm going to yeah, play this... that in two years. Oh, such <laughs> splendid attire. It's like the saddest <laughs> face ever. <laughs> you have chosen vagabonds of the highways, you guys. Fitting finery for this pageant of the epiphany in the ashes. Beyond these doors, the masquerade of the refinery flame. Oh, in each likeness, a shadow in opposition is cast. That which is low shall rise. The swamps become mountains. The earth, a ceiling of the sky. Dude, I love cults. In yeah, media. cults are yeah, cults they're are pretty good. good. The path I like the how they're rendered. Path is straight for the wayward. The thieves are gift givers, and the flame is the provenance of the mind. I, I don't, an amazing you... voice you just. What was that? You, you know what you said. It was like the, the. It was like the the guy from the Simpsons. The uh, the the fucking pastor from the Simpsons. I just started talking. Oh, Lovejoy. It was amazing. Oh, yeah. where it's a little bit too official while you're talking. Was that, was that what I was doing? I didn't wow. know. Wow. Yeah. yeah was, whatever. Uh, yeah, stuff. the path is straight for the wayward. Yeah, I guess, you know, I fucking, it's my birthday. You know, I, I still got it. You know, might be 36, but I fucking still got, got some it. voice. You still got it. You still got it. Oh, my God. He's got it. Don't attract attention. Let's move along. Hey, it's Bubblehead. Hey, I don't know if that's a person or what, but, uh... Dude, it, I love this on Bubblehead. and this. Go in, go in. He's like, go in. they're asking yeah. you to go in. Everybody... Ooh. Oh yeah, look at, oh, look at this Oh, it's crabble. a masquerade ball! Birdhead Keith. Of course. More like thighs wide shut. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm starting with the birdhead. There are many currents of deceit and mistrust coursing through the room tonight. All right, all right. Every other person we meet is going to be Lee, and the uh, the even numbers are going to be Shambi. It's yeah. perfect. Some wear masks to speak truthfully without fear Jesus. of reprisal. Others wear masks to further deceive. That's a good voice. Laura St. Clair, the regional CEO, is unwell. That's why she doesn't join us tonight. She was once the darling of the pageant, but no more. Her power is slipping. She's at odds with her father on one side of the board on the other. Why is Laura at odds with her father? They seek the same thing, but for different reasons. There is a technology of unknown origins that has made this region its home. Oh, yeah. Super duck. Super duck. Super duck. Laura believes that it holds the key to powering a mining fleet that can travel great distances for the purpose of gathering ore. It is her final bid to move S.H.I.E.L.D. away from Earth extraction. Her father, Thomas St. Clair, hopes to block his daughter's discovery of this elusive technology and to intercept it for his own designs. He is a man without a face. You will never see Thomas St. Clair. But his eyes are everywhere that he wishes them to be. They are here tonight behind several of these masks. Perhaps closer than you realize. It's our dog. Our dog Popsy or Pop-Tart or whatever his name is. Pip-Tart. Why is Laura at odds with the... Oops. What technology? She has pursued a mystical invisible device against every wish of the board, inflating the operations budget in order to siphon money towards her zealous mission. She is a Garrett. <laughs> Garrett's all. We got Garrett's in the mall. She believes that if she can secure the technology, the board will forgive her for her many transgressions. I am in a position to know that she is mistaken. It's too late for her. A coup is already underway. It has only taken this long because they hoped her spiraling madness would drive her to suicide. They fear the wrath of her father, whom S.H.I.E.L.D. holds many profitable contracts, but Laura's self-destruction may prove too costly in the end. So this technology you're talking about? A vessel of light that has remained hidden in the lake for decades. 
A visitor from a distant star, a hoax, an angel, a military weapon, a drone, distortion created by gases combusting in the swamp. What is a bird to know about such things? <laughs> I merely like bird seed. Oh, but I d but don't listen to me. No one has been able to capture this specimen or even verify its existence. Laura becomes more irate with each proposed theory. She grows darker by the day, and the device escapes her reach at every turn. This is perfect. Gee, that birdman sure knew a lot of helpful information for a normal yeah. security guard. Yeah. <laughs> something like that. Your mom saw something in the lake. I what think it? it was her dildo. A vessel of light that has remained hidden in the lake for decades, or a visitor from a distant star, a hoax, an angel, a weapon, a distortion, something else. Laura St. Clair wanted to find the entity. S.H.I.E.L.D. is pivoting towards off-world mineral extraction, and Laura believed it holds the key to advanced space travel. She hoped that if she captured the specimen and offered it to S.H.I.E.L.D.'s regional board of directors, it would forgive her transgressions. It's in the race of the I wish I had a finish thought button, for fuck's sake. I believe the same entity that your mom witnessed in the lake before her death. Thomas St. Clair is searching for something. Yeah. No, no. I'm starting to believe that there's something important about an entity in the lake. What do you think? Nah. Dude. Okay, if it ain't Baroque, mm. don't fix it, right? Oh my god. Wow. Yeah, th this game has actually had some rad soundtrack originally. It's true, yeah. The boys no, are back. The sound design is, like, wild. I'm actually curious if they have the shit on on Spotify. On Vodify. Mm. <laughs> oh, so Spotify's like, oh, I want to install some stuff. No, you're just totally killing my vibe. Yeah, I want to see if there's the Norco soundtrack on this pupper. Mirror. Mirror yeah, Spotify, you're busting my doink. Nor Norco. Norco. Norco original soundtrack. There it is. Wow, it's pretty good. 43. But is it on title? Probably not. Nothing's uh, on title. So well, some things are on title. So, no playlists are on time. Yeah, so, so, so we're going to close you, out with View of a Burning City by Who. Or do we want Goo in a Burning City? The FM Goo remix. I mean, goo, that's, uh, goo, that's the title. Goo, yeah. goo. Yeah, remix. Remix. Oh, man. Well, I, yet again, we'll go ahead and mute the actual ominous sound of the game. Yet again, an excellent day of gaming. Like Norco fucking rules. It's so good. True. It's so excellent. It's amazing. Um, it's uh, very goo, yeah. Yeah, it's so goo. It's the gooest. I don't think I even have anything else to add. I think it's just great. I think it's just the video game right there. That's yeah, no, a good it. game. Uh, any yeah. any any closing thoughts from you, little beans? Head empty. Thoughts gone. Rock on. Thoughts gone. Rock on. Good night from Lee and Sean. King Kong. All right, I'm I'm just gonna hit. I, I'm gonna play the the goo. <laughs>